A California-based trucking company involved in a deadly collision in New Mexico that killed eight and left 25 injured has a history of crashes However, two surviving passengers are now suing, accusing both the driver and the trucking company of negligence Brian Williams filed these lawsuits on behalf of Greyhound passengers Robert Ward of Arizona and Reed Valentine of Ohio against JAG Transportation and the 35-year-old truck driver He said that according to federal safety data, which has been viewed by Daily Mail Com, the company has been involved in three crashes over the last two years, excluding this crash According to the suit, both Jag and the driver did not adequately inspect and adequately mine to in the tire before the blowout Share this article shared also states that Ward and Reed suffered severe shock, mental anguish and emotional distresses because of the accident The State Office of the Medical Investigator, OMI, told the Albuquerque Journal that five of the eight passengers killed have been identified No information was released about their hometowns, according to the journal However, the OMI did say that the cause of death for the eight victims was due to accidental blunt force trauma Our sympathies are with the families whose loved ones were involved in this crash, the office said in a statement Our commitment to investigate deaths to serve the living will drive our efforts to bring some closure and peace to these families, as well as to support public safety efforts Those hospitalized, from infants to adults, had injuries ranging from minor to severe Some have been discharged, while others are still recovering, the journal reports Surprisingly, the driver of the semi-trailer survived, suffering non-life-threatening injuries Elisara Tito said he was hauling produce from California to Tennessee when his 70,000-pound semi-truck blew up tire before sailing head-on into a bus traveling from Albuquerque to Phoenix, Arizona It just locked up, Tito said of his truck, speaking to CBS News from his hospital bed I was trying everything that I could to avoid it. As soon as it happened, I almost just knew that I was going to die. I was surprised that I made it. Tito said authorities asked for a drug test, which he said was found clean. I am sorry. I mean, I don't know if I can do anything to change it. I can't, he said. The tires are being sent to the National Transportation Safety Board in Washington, D.C., which has begun an investigation The agency has also asked for the medical records and toxicology reports of Tido from JAG Transportation The electronic data recorders for the semi-trailer and bus have been recovered, he added, 